Good morning, everyone. This is Diane Murray at Southern Art Gallery, and I am always in search of inexpensive um, professional watercolor pigments to use in my beginner classes. Uh, students don't like to spend um, significant amounts of money on paint when they don't even know if they're gonna like watercolor or not. So it's always a struggle for me. I used to get the Sennelier uh, beginner set, which worked really well and they stopped making it. I've tried Daniel Smith um, beginners mixing set of six and added to it. Um, that works out quite well. I'm trying something new on this beginner class uh, that I'm teaching in January, and that is using um, the least expensive professional grade paints that I'm aware of in tube form, and that is Turner. So what I have here is I have Turner's Thalo Blue Green Shade. I have Turner's Ultramarine. I have Hansa Lemon in Turner's, Hansa Lemon. I have their Permanent Gamboge. And I have their, their Ultramarine, their Thalo Blue, their Quinacridone Rose. I had uh, a lot of Windsor Newton, uh, Windsor Red. So we're using that in place of uh, a red from them. And I have a lot of Da Vinci's Payne's Gray, which is a staple for my beginners. So this is the little palette that I've come up with. And these are my thoughts. Um, as you can see, they all mix beautifully. They are very transparent. The Turners are made in Japan. They're a Jerry's brand, I believe. Um, they're, they're very nice beginner, beginner's paints. Um, I don't use them professionally on the paintings that I sell because primarily some of the Turner colors are not transparent and they use too many pigments. Thalo Blue is a standard Thalo Blue green shade and it is the PB15. It is very transparent, as you can see, and it's actually a lovely color, so that one is a really a keeper. Their Ultramarine is a PB29, which is a single pigment and standard for an Ultramarine. It's just fine. So that one, I think, we'll keep on the palette. The Hansa Lemon is a traditional lemon PY3. It's also very transparent, so that's a nice one to keep on the palette. The Gamboge, and usually this is the case with Gamboge, they're not a single pigment. This is a PY150, PY110, and a PY109. So you see it has three pigments, and this is a problem you run into often with these warm yellows. Um, so you can get a single pigment warm yellow, I believe Transparent Yellow by Windsor Newton is a single pigment, but it's, um, it's uncommon to have a single pink pigment gamboge. This is their, uh, this is actually quite a quite nice color. It's called Ch uh, Quinacridone China Rose, and it's a classic pink red, a PV19. Um, the Windsor Red, uh, you know, I've used in my palettes for a long time. It's not as transparent. It is transparent, though. But it also has a color shift, which I'm not crazy about, but you can deal with it. And it is a good uh, pyrrole red. I think it's a, uh, I believe it's a, yeah, 264. A PR264. So it's a single pigment as well. Their pa the Payne's Gray is a PBK6, which is a black. Very unusual for a Payne's Gray to have just one pigment in it, but as you can see, it's very much on the gray side. So it's just a basically a diluted black, which is what pa this Payne's Gray is. But it's good for making darks. As you can see, it does darken up all the other colors. So it that's why we put it on our palette. So there you have it. This is the palette we're gonna use this year and see how it goes. Um, I may, may replace uh, some of these paints in the future on my beginner's palette, but I think for now, as you can see, it mixes beautifully. 
the colors mix beautifully. Their, their, their transparency is excellent. If you're just a beginner starting out, try the Turner paints. They're not a, um, a Daniel Smith, but they're, they're a good quality paint for beginners, I would say. And some of their paints are just as good as, um, as other professional brands, in my opinion. Like, they're, um, this is qu a quite nice color. I don't know about the fading on this, though. I would worry about that. But anyway, there you have it. I think Turner would make an excellent beginner's palette if you're just starting out in watercolor. I checked into the uh, light fast ratings that Turner uses and apparently three is their highest rating in light fastness. Um, I don't know why this scale is different than most companies. However, they appear to be and they say that, that an excellent light fast rating is 50 years plus. Most excellent light fast ratings are 100 years plus, I believe. So just keep that in mind. Maybe it's because they're Japan a Japanese company. Maybe the ratings are different um, in the Asian companies. I don't know. But anyway, that's something to keep in mind. So according to them, they are their light fastest light fastness is excellent. So there you have it.